Welcome back to another episode on the Maurus Film Channel. Today we have a new, highly anticipated lens from the Siri Anamorphic lineup. This is the Siri 100mm T 2.9 full frame anamorphic lens. And we have also this 1.25 anamorphic adapter that will make this 1.6 lens and two times anamorphic. And this adapter will work also on standard spherical lenses. More of that later in the review. This 100mm T2.9 anamorphic lens is a big one, nearly 1.5 kilos, or exactly 1485 grams. And by no means a light lens, but nobody wants to beat light. But I can confirm that I have used this lens with the Sony A7S 3 mounted on the Weebill 3. Yes, the Weebill 3, with a small weight on top. Pretty nice for an ultra low compact setup. Let's have a look on the physical side of this lens. The complete body is built out of metal with a distinctive blue anamorphic flare coating in the front, 82mm filter thread size on front and threaded aperture with focus ring. Aperture goes from T2.9 all the way up to T16, with a pretty good focusing throw of 100 degrees. This lens came standard with an additional lens support you don't want to stress more your lens camera support. This 82mm filter thread size is actually perfect, as every ND filter that I use winds on natively on this lens and actually I can switch them back and forward with these without any problems. And this is also a bonus when using the Siri anamorphic adapter that has the same 82mm thread side, so it will actually sit really flush when using the whole setup. Just like every other Siri anamorphic lens lineup, this lens also gives you the nice blue anamorphic flares that it's known for. Great to match the other lenses for a gorgeous look. Once you wind on the anamorphic adapter to the 100mm lens, you will get that 2 times anamorphic out of this lens, getting you even more that distinctive bocal of a balls and shapes. In order to seamlessly operate the anamorphic adapter and the lens, you will have to put the lens focusing ring to infinity, and then focus with the ring on the adapter. Once you get used to it, it's pretty simple and I didn't find any problems. This adapter is also designed to work with a normal spherical lens and not only anamorphics and you can adapt it to different type of lenses in your lineup and it is actually recommended to use it from 35mm up in the full frame scale. Ok, so which type of production is this lens designed? Being a full frame T2.9 lens this lens will be very versatile in any production because it's one of the most affordable full frame 1.6 anamorphic lenses that you can buy today. And with the early bird discounts, you get them actually pretty affordable in this anamorphic world. After my 50mm Siri full frame anamorphic, this will be a great 100mm companion. The first link in the description will guide you straight to the buying site for this great setup an adapter. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer to all of them. And until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make new video and see you on my next one.